Well, hey there, LEGO fans. It's Jake from Jake's Bricks, and we're going to be diving into set 21323, the brand new LEGO Ideas Playable Grand Piano. I think this thing is set up with power functions. It, it functions through an app. But I mean, this is a unbelievable retail price tag for a LEGO Ideas set. I believe the previous king was the LEGO Ideas Treehouse at 200 US dollars. This one's retailing for 350 USD. I'm really excited to build this set specifically. I'm really to see how those functions play into the app that they've set up uh, that it works closely with. So, I mean, at the same price as a Disney Castle, it, it better be at the upper echelon of Lego sets. So I'm excited. I'll, I'll give you guys a review at the end. There's going to be a high speed build as part of this video. And then we're going to kick it off right here, right now with an unboxing video. So here we go. This is the unboxing of Lego set 21323. So let's um, flip it over right here. Bust off these seals here. All right, flip it back over so you guys can kind of see the full glory here. I'll give you a picture of the back of the box before we dive in. Alrighty, open it up. Put that there so you guys can take a look. All right, well, here's what we got for the inside. And I got this keyboard, um, part of the keys of the piano and all the bags sitting right here. Let's open up this box that has a keyboard. It's quite substantial. Right there, we got the bags. We'll kind of just throw those out here on the table. Looks like they go all the way up to, I see number 21. Looks like 21 gets the king for the highest numbered bag. There we go, empty bags dropping some on the floor, of course. Put that box down here and then we'll dive into this right here. Alrighty, let's dig in. Cut that off. I'm sure there's got to be instruction manuals, maybe power functions inside of here. Alrighty, let's take a look. Of course, more bags. Tons and tons of bags. Uh, this bag of long gold looks like it's going to be the strings that sit inside the uh the grand piano uh, little power functions hook up there some base plates some loose base plates more bags tons of bags uh offensive amount of bags because this thing although it doesn't look huge in some of the pictures i've seen we've got more power functions there's our power functions brick right there and then let's take a look at this the instruction manual yeah I'll give you guys a little peek into what we're working with here this thing is like vacuum sealed and like all instruction manuals for anything priced over 200 dollars uh, the thing is a beast it's thick super thick and uh there you go that's uh that's the front of the instruction manual right there I'll kind of peek through some of these front pages. Um, I'm not sure which one it's specifically based on, but man, I'm excited to dive into this set. So uh, we're gonna show you a high-speed video right here. It's probably gonna take me several hours to complete, but man, like every Lego set, I'm always excited to dive in. So check out the high-speed video, stay around for a review, and I'll, I'll be able to show you some of the features inside of the app as well after we're done building, so. All right, check out the high speed build.
Well, there it is. The Lego Ideas Grand Piano. And as someone who in a former life played piano as a young kid, this tickled my heartstrings a little bit, brought me back to a day where I dreamed of having a grand piano in our home. This is probably the farthest or the closest I'm ever going to get to owning a grand piano. But I mean, if you guys could just see and take a look, as far as a model goes, the attention to detail is spectacular. It looks very similar to some of the features you'd see in, in an actual grand piano. Overall, the model execution is tremendous. Uh, props to Donnie Chen. Donnie Chen was actually the Lego fan that submitted this to Lego for a Lego Ideas submission. They chose to uh, create it and distribute it so that I could build it and so that you can build it. An incredible, incredible model. I mean, high praise for the Lego partnership that was developed in creating this piano. Uh, there's there's features like the sustain panel uh, lifts the the hammers inside of there. Uh, you, see, you can see the hammers when they're working with the keys. The lid lifts here. The lid can go up and down. The features are exactly what you'd expect from a normal grand piano. I think even uh, if you pull these key pieces out, you can actually slide the whole keyboard out. It goes in and out pretty smoothly. That was one of the features you can see when building. Uh, the stool slides up and down through some Technic elements inside of there. Um, that's pretty accurate to something you'd experience if you were actually had a stool and you were playing grand piano. Uh, I want you guys to take a look at some of the features, the playable features specifically. So that was one of the things that I was curious of when I purchased this piano, like how does it actually play? And it actually plays through an app on your phone. Uh, you download the Lego Powered Up app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this right here up on the music stand. And what you can see here is there's a feature that you can play the actual keys or you can listen to a song and it will play it for you. Again, the sound comes through your phone. So that's one of the unique, like, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe you could actually play the keys and, and it would actually make noise, but it doesn't actually do that. It, it connects through an app on your phone, which is a really cool feature. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So the powered up features through Lego have, have increased over the years. And then what I'll show you guys here is to access the power functions brick. You have to open up this little side compartment, connect it to your phone via Bluetooth, and then you can start playing. So let's take a look. I'm gonna close that back up. Roll this around here and give you guys kind of a look. So what you'll do here is you would choose if we're gonna play it. So let's click play. You can hear the power function will reset the keys. And then there are five functions to be able to play the song you can play for a lease. Now what you're gonna see here is it actually doesn't matter what key you play. The keys don't actually play the notes that you might be expecting to hear. But let's dive in a little bit. So here we go. So, pretty cool feature. You can play a song, you can actually hit the keys, the hammers in the back work, but I could essentially just play the same key the whole time and it would play the whole song. Overall, a neat design. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I'm slightly disappointed that these don't match up to the app that you would actually play the specific note. Obviously, it's not a full keyboard of keys. So there are some limitations inside of there, but I was hoping that maybe the features would be a little bit more specific to a piano experience. Um, but overall, still a really cool thing. And then I'll show you, if you uh, pull up the Powered Up app and then you hit the play feature, we can actually play a song through the app. So if you hit the listen button inside of your Powered Up app, take you guys through here, let's see, we'll do Play Day, the song that was actually developed by Donnie Chen. And once you hit play, you'll actually see the keys move up and down. Maybe you've been to a mall or a hotel where they have a self-playing grand piano, something very similar. So you can see the keys moving on their own. And then on the app, it looks like it's actually progressing through the song. 
there you go. And then you'll see, okay, man, I, I noticed that the keys are still in their position. The way that you can reset that is you hit the reset button inside of your app and the keys come back up to level. So overall, pretty great. For $350, you're competing with sets like the the Lego I, um, the Lego Disney Castle, uh, which is an incredible model. Uh, for an extra $50, you can get the Lego Hogwarts Castle. Those are some amazing builds of grandeur. I think the thing that contributes to the high price tag is the technology side of things, uh, the powered up brick, the, the app, and all the R&D that probably went into developing those features. Overall, I, I recommend it if you are if you've already built maybe the Disney Castle or you've built the Hogwarts Castle. This would probably fall um, lower on the list in the above three hundred dollar range on sets for me. I had to build it because I wanted to see how the features worked. But that's my review. I'll give it a solid seven out of ten for the price range for the experience. But overall, Lego is onto something as they connect their app features inside of their playable functions. I really hope they develop more models like this in the future and they can be even more engaging than they already have. So there you go, guys. Enjoy, subscribe, like this video, comment. If you would like to see me review any other Lego set out there, I would love to start getting some requests here. So see you guys later. Signing off.